Hi, today we're going to take a look at the uh, Game Gear Micro. Um, recent purchase of mine, I um, bought this on a whim. Um, I bought the yellow version just because it was cheap and available. Um, I'd heard good and bad stories about these, but wanted to take a look myself. So I'm going to hack this. So obviously you're going to need a, a Game Gear Micro. Like you say, I've got the yellow one, but it doesn't really matter what model you get. You're going to need the USB cable to obviously connect it to your PC. You need a pen or a paper clip or a, a pick of some sort. You need to press a button inside the battery compartment. You're going to also need a PC, obviously, to download the software from. First things first, we're going to need the software that's been developed for it. So you can go directly to this Google Drive. Well, there's, yeah, there's quite a few places now. You, know, you can Google that and get it, get it to get all the software you need. Um, first thing, obviously, install the drivers. Now there are you can install the uh, driver directly, or there is a, a main executable which will obviously download and install it. Um, what you need to do then is insert the uh, cable into your PC, then into the uh, Game Gear Micro, and then you get yourself your little pen or your pick or whatever you've got, paper clip. And just inside the battery compartment, there's a little reset button. So you press and hold that little reset button and turn the Game Gear Micro on and then release the button and you'll hear a little little connection notification from your PC just to let you know that it's gone into USB mode. Straight away it will start to download uh, all the relevant files to get it to, to communicate and obviously uh, get everything set up and ready. doesn't take very long, you know, literally 30-40 seconds, everything should be loaded in and ready to go. So you'll hear the uh, Game Gear Micro disconnect and then it'll reconnect after you follow these little on-screen prompts that come up and the Game Gear Micro will come back on but it won't load into the loader screen, it will just stay on like the BIOS screen. This message will come up so you just need to press yes to a little putty symbol. And then whichever option you pick, like I've gone into Game Gear settings for this, so first of all it'll allow you to change the language and it'll allow you to back up the firmware or store you know, some other firmware you've recorded. Next thing, obviously there's the custom firmware installer, so what I did is I, I um, did the custom firmware first, then I changed the settings and then obviously I started to load in this slot uh, manager. Slot Manager really is where you take control of the Game Gear Micro, so you can uh, back and restore. This tells you, as you load, when you turn on the, when it's finished, when you turn on the Micro, you can press those individual buttons for which slot you've assigned certain games to, so it will load that particular slot of games, which is quite cool. Um, here I'm just doing a, uh, just showing you the, the, the Save Manager, so you know, you can back up and, and keep all of your files. You could, in theory, transfer them to another Game Gear Micro. It doesn't take long, it takes a little bit longer for this process to uh, save, but not that long. All of this is pretty well thought out. Like you say, this is the slot manager, this is where the nuts and bolts of it all is. Um, so you start off with your ROM 1 and you start to load in the six slots uh, of your different ROMs that you know, obviously you want, that your personal preference of which ones you want in where. Um, it's also you, from that point you can, you can um, create um, the images that obviously will go with each game. Um, you can save those those slots and you can save those images and everything in there. So it's, it's very universal. Um, I just loaded in, I'm just loading in the six slots just to really show you what's on offer and how quick it is really. Um, it's been very well thought out. You know, I, I really think that um, someone's quite refined this quite well. So, you know, my hat off to the, uh, the people involved who have actually hacked this. Um, you know, they've done a cracking job. So this is what, you know, once you've got the, your ROMs in, this is what you get. They so say you it boots up as normal. You press like if you're using number one slot. You'd press number one and turn on the Game Gear Micro, and that will then boot into slot one. You can release the uh, uh, button one soon after. So you normally you would be greeted with obviously um, four slots. Uh, now you've got six because we can increase the slots. So pick number one. In this case, it's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, like you say, I'm going to be putting the artwork on later, but this was just to really get it up and running so that I could have a play with it and just see what it was actually. Uh, it, it, this particular model came with um, all adventure games. Now, the downside of that is they're all obviously in Japanese, so I couldn't play any of them. So um, it was quickly my intention to hack this just to put some of my old favourites on. So I decided to put uh, Game Gear uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 um, and just doing a bit of a speed run here just to. 
just to show that what the gameplay is actually like. Um, you know, it's 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 a fad. It's not it's not something. It's not going to be your daily driver. It's meant to be really something that sits on your key ring that you can just have a quick blast on if you want. Um, it's a, a collector's toy. It's whatever you want it to be. Um, but now that obviously I've done this. I've got the games on it that I want to put on it, and it's also it makes it far more usable. So it runs off um, two AAA batteries. Um, you know the screen's pretty good. It's um, the viewing angles are pretty good. It's nice and bright. So you know actually I don't mind it. I think it's really good. So uh, that's me just hacking it and having a quick play with the Game Gear Micro. I um, thought I'd chuck my two pennies in. Um, nice little machine. Um, don't think I'll be buying any more, um, but it's just a nice addition to my collection. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.